Hello, I'm Lance. Thanks for checking out the channel today. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to do a winter scene that's going to be uh, cold and uh, it's going to be quick. I've been working on some other projects and they've been kind of uh, pretty challenging. So today is going to be an easy one that it's going to just sit back and relax. So I've got a 9 by 12 here. I'm going to use oils today. And I put a little, uh, this is a panel. They're fun. They're cheap. And I put a little uh, tape around it so when I'm done I'll pull it off and we'll have a border. And this is just some ply or some plywood that I've used and colored black and then I put some blue tape on the back of this and, and cinched it on there. So uh, I'll get this stuff shut off, get ready to go, and thanks for watching and hopefully uh, this turns out today. So thank you. Okay, let's get started. I think we're ready. Alright, hopefully everybody's doing good. Hopefully let's start out with this uh, gray color. Okay, this will be our sky. I'm just going to kind of knock some color in. And we can add some other stuff to it. This will be my... I'm going to try to keep this from moving around. Okay. More color. You see that all right? A lot of hairs in there. This brush is shedding today. That's okay, though. that over a little more see if that helps a little bit better I don't know if that's I'll put that there so you can see a little farther a little farther back with the lighting there there that's not bad there's a little gray in the sky so I'm gonna come in and maybe grab a little more a little white black crimson in there. Okay. There. there, that's better. We can add some white to it. You can see that now, hopefully. See, and you can grab some little bit of blue patterns in there a little bit. Just some, uh, I think that's a, that's a, uh, just throwing in a little bit of ultramarine blue take down here and just go all the way across. I put some, uh, okay. uh, put some, uh, clear gel on here so it blends. You can see it's blending nicely. I think. There, use that. And that clear gel really does a nice job with uh, making it easier to move stuff around. I'm going to throw a little more little uh, ultramarine blue on my palette here. I'm just going to do a winter scene, like I was saying. I'm going to come down here and just like this. Not too blotchy, but I'm just tapping on here. I'm going across. Just throwing this as base color, and I'm going to go over it with some others. You know? There we go. This is the ground, and I'm just going to try to come in here and make some sort of a Sort of a little nice painting. So then I'm just going to take and up here, I'm just going to go back and forth. And I'm just trying to places you want a lot of paint. You just, you know, don't hit it as hard. Where you have, or lots of paint, you can hit it harder if you want to blend it. Uh, where you might have a little paint, just leave the light areas in there. See? You can kind of do whatever. That looks pretty cloudy and, you know, pretty cloudy and whatnot. We can go in and, you know, just throw in some more. Put in some white, some areas. You know, and just have little holes here and there. There. And you can come back in and blend them in. Just to add a little, a little fun to it. It's just titanium white. Just try to get it on the canvas and then you can decide what you want to do with it. And all right here. There. You can come back in and get some more base color, some more blue, some more black. And just kind of come in and see? Whatever you want to do. Pretty simple. And then just kind of blend it in. Go down below, do the same thing. You can get some more blue on the bottom. 
man in and got some paint, you know, we're now some snow in here, so we're gonna try to do that. There, can you see that okay? All right, kind of cloudy. I mean, you could come in and put a little cloud in the top if you wanted, but I'm gonna take my hat off of hot. It's kind of warm down here, even though the, the, uh, even though the, it's cold up here in Montana today. Okay, I don't know, I'm just gonna take this brush and maybe throw a little cloud in up here, just a little bit, something. See, just keep circling. And, okay. Flatten it out on the bottom, maybe. I don't know, make another one over here. Remember, clouds do whatever. They're pretty, you might think, you know, you can work a cloud and say, oh, that's not looking good. You know, but then, they always seem to just think of circles and different things and there, that ought to work. And I didn't even, look at this, I just used a tiny little brush. <laughs> okay, let me come in here and just kind of blend it. You can pull it up if you want, but I'm just gonna kind of come in and try to soften that. See, there it gives you some clouds in there and just lightly go over it. It'll probably disappear, okay. There, a little more character in the sky, some clouds. Just looks like it could be written ready to I don't know, maybe snow, or, you know. Okay, I'm gonna take some black and some of that blue, add a little crimson into it, put some white in there. It's gonna make a, I want it to be darker than the sky, or crimson in there, but not too much. I don't want the purple clouds, I want kind of a grayish. I'm just throwing in whatever, get a little more black in there. A little gray looking, some more blue. Ooh, that might work good, right there. It's kind of a dirty looking, there. More blue in there. Just, okay. And then we'll just kind of pull up a peak here. Maybe there's one pull there. And bring it down. Not too much, and put one there, and then kind of bring it up here. Just darken that up. Pull. Okay. There. Ooh, there we go. A little paint on there. This is wet on wet, which means everything that, you know, the paint. I'm going to try to get the whole thing done with one with one sitting. So I'm just making a mountain range here. You know, it could be. Honestly, this kind of resembles. I took a picture the other day of. Uh, when I was up working at Marias Pass, and this is uh, where the Marias Pass is. It kind of comes this way. And I'm sitting at the rest area, and I snapped this picture. There's a there's a big monument up there, so maybe I'll throw that in. I was kind of hoping to do this one quickly, um, but we're at eight minutes. But that looks all right. I'm just kind of standing behind here to see how the how it looks in the camera. Very good. Pretty good. There we go. There. In there, a little blue, you know, just to give a little more. There, that looks good. Maybe a little peak there. There. And you can use knives. You can use brushes. You can use your finger. You can do anything you want when you're doing a, when you're uh, painting mountains. Um, you don't have to always be with a palette knife. But okay, let's take a look here. here we go. Let's say this is. Come this way. Let's see that one that way. I'm pulling in the middle today. Make some stuff up. Okay. Maybe it starts to go that way there. Maybe here it comes down. There. Over here we'll pull it that way. Okay. That comes down. There. And then down here you can grab some more paint and just kind of put in the going to be, actually what I want to do is tap in some mist down here, the base of this mountain. Hopefully my head's not in the way. And I'm just getting some white and tapping it in there, okay? And you can do that or you can go this way. Pull it up into the mountain. There. And if you get too much paint on there, just wipe it off. Okay, tap in. And then you 
can pull up. And we'll follow your angles. Pull up a little bit. Kind of gets rid of the tap marks. Maybe that one's there or there. It doesn't really matter. You know, as long as you got the mist in there. So you got a little mist in there. Now I also, you know, I want to define these mountains a little more. So I'm going to grab some black and crimson. Just darken the color a little bit. Some blues in there too. Maybe a little darker and maybe we can put some little, you know, little dark spots here up top. Just kind of come in and, you know, make some little, some little things changing around just so it has a little, so ridges, you know, you want some lights in them, some darks, a little harder, but say there's a little ridge there, you know, and just pull them down. I should have done this before I put my mist and my other stuff in, but it's all right, maybe a little bit right there. You know, I'm following your, maybe this one comes straight down. That one comes to the middle. We'll make it a saddle. Okay. Not really any light today, is there? I mean, it's kind of gloomy, so we don't, really it matters. You know, that one come there. Pull that out. And then maybe over here, it kind of comes that way. Starts going there. So that just gives you an indication of, makes your mountains look like mountains. Okay, good. And we can come in and grab a little white maybe, and grab some highlights in some of these. See, just kind of have fun. Just throw some white. Just play white against dark. You know. Light against dark, dark against light. Mountains are pretty easy after you do them. First started, I couldn't make them look like mountains, and then it don't take long. You figure it out. Okay. How's that? <laughs> there. There's our little distant mountains, and very. This is a very. I don't know. I wouldn't say soft, but uh, it's got a lot of a lot of color in it. Okay. Not very vibrant, is it? So now I'm going to come back in and grab some more black, some of that blue, a little crimson in there, and I'm just going to push it on this brush here. It's got to, I want it to be a little darker here, right? And then I think there's a little tree line right here. See that? Just a tree line. I'm going to go up and down. There we go. I'm going to throw a little more blue on there. A little distance. Yeah, it's blizzarding out today, so we're kind of hunkered down. I went out and shoveled snow a few times. <laughs> so, a little black in there. Just mixing up some dark here. Let's try to get a little darker. There. And I'm just going to come in and just tap these in. Okay? There. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, stand by. Okay, we're back up and running, and we're gonna finish this up. But all I want to do is, you know, we're just putting in some red color here. You know, this is just some distant. Just put in some distant stuff here. Okay. Okay, we want that distant trees and mountains, and like before. If you want to make little distant. Um, you know, distant stuff, little tiny, misty little trees. Just pull up a little. These are very far. Don't go too high. Just barely touch. I know my hand's in the way, but... Barely. Okay. See how easy that is? There. And you can come down and do a little bit too, but just leave it like that. Just pull up. This one's kind of cool. It fell on the floor, if you noticed from before. I, I had to shut her down and start again, but there's a hair there. I'll just wait to get that out, and then I'll... I got a little something going on there. Um, I had a little... Not an emergency, but I had to go to the school and pick my son up. Because cold weather. There. So there, you got a little... Even if I pull that aside, this is a nice-looking mountain, and it's kind of soft. 
kind of relaxing, doesn't really attract the eye like some do, but okay. Now again, I'm going to take this brush here, which is kind of, and I'm going to come in here and, you know, I'm going to tap here. Kind of tap the bottom of this. I'm going to just take some white. And all I'm doing here is I'm tapping a little white on there. You see that? I'm trying to figure this camera out still, and I think I had it on manual and it was blurry. So the first half is blurry, but the second half, which nobody really watches a lot of times. There. I'm just going to come and tap into here and try to miss that. We'll start with one end, come over, and then, okay, and then we're going to come over here and just use the other end and just kind of miss that up. That's very far away. Looks a lot closer than it is, but for this, I'm looking at, I am looking at a picture, but I'm not painting the picture. It's just, okay. And then we're gonna pull up, get rid of the brush strokes. Okay. Lightly pull up. I know my hand's in the way, sorry. And then kind of go here and just go back and forth. See how soft that looks? It kind of blends it out for us. And there we are. Not bad. It's a cool looking mountain. Kind of looks like little dogs. It does have, have uh, this is the, the hump. I've ate lunch there before, I've said. And so it kind of comes off and there's, it comes up higher here, but this, for perspective, I think this looks good for just, you know, winging it. Okay, so we got that in. And then we need to come in and do, we're gonna come closer. So I'm gonna just make it darker. Okay, I'm not going to use any green. I mean, you know what? I don't use green in my winter paintings, uh, but I might do a little today. I don't know. Maybe a touch. Not much. Not much. Okay, and I'm going to go. I'm going to swap over to a fan brush if I can find one here that I can use. This one will work probably. I'm going to try this one. I've had so many brushes, ain't funny. Okay, so I'm gonna just take this fan brush. I'm gonna take some more black, some crimson. Okay, and I'm gonna get some more of that. Ultramarine blue is pretty weak, which is fine, because you can't get in much trouble with it. Okay. So we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna grab some of that ultramarine, some black, some crimson, a little bit of white. There we go. More crimson. Okay, touch of green, not much. A little bit of sap green. There we go. This will make it look. I think it'll work good. More white. I'm gonna have to reload. Sorry. A little crimson. More blue. I want to be a little more blue, but I think I've got it down. You just move around until you find what you want. So. This closer trees are going to be, I'm going to kind of have just a, right here. Okay. And this is the highway. Okay. These trees are right across the tracks. Okay. So the railroad tracks are right behind them, in front of them. You won't see them, and I don't want the railroad tracks in there. <laughs> I just want to have, and they go up a little, and we're just trying to create this depth. It's easy. No matter what you paint, you get darker as you get closer to you. Light, light, dark, and you get distance. It's pretty simple. You know, painting is not that hard. I think a lot of times you get much information if you're beginning to paint and it you don't really need as long as it looks good and you're enjoying yourself you know you don't need to sell paintings they're kind of fun when you do and uh, you know that looks pretty good go through a gallery sometime and uh, look at paintings that are for sale and then compare them to yours and you'd be like mine's are pretty mine are pretty good too you know compared to those but these ones just pull up a little farther, okay? Because they're closer, you want them to stand out a little more. See 
that. There, so you got some trees there. Trees across the tracks, right? Okay, pull that up a little more. There. Not bad, not bad, okay. And we can bring them down a little more and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna kinda, where's that? Okay, there it is, okay. Oops, dropped my, that's why. Okay, I have a, a rug over my, in my studio here because I drop stuff all the time. And then down here we can get some more color here. It's gonna pick up the color underneath, so if you go lighter and stuff, it might. Yeah, and there's kind of a hard edge on this one. And sometimes these paintings that I just do, like this, that are not that difficult, are actually turn out to be the best ones. I'm just putting some light on there. Just having, I'm just relaxing and just don't even worry about it. Pull up a little, see? And if they're cool to look at, people might buy them. Okay, and I'm gonna come in here and just trying to make this kind of a flat. Okay. And I'm gonna step back and I always try not to kick the, what I'm standing on, you know, the, my iPod, my tripod, my iPad, my pet, uh, there. And this is flat here. Okay, and you can come up and pull and, I want it too light though, because we want that separation. You got the distance, and you got the distant mountain, okay? And it looks good. And a lot of times, you know, one thing I don't think I did is I didn't think I pulled the mountain down. So what I'm going to do is, let me just grab a little this little guy here and just kind of, I've got a little glare, but I'm just going to have to pull those down a little more. See? Pull these this way. Try to grab them, pull them. Don't hit the top of those. Just kind of bring them down. See how easy it is to, <laughs> if you forget something, you can come back and do it later. And it just makes them come down farther. That looks better. It gets kind of more, you want closer to that mist, you can pull in that mist too. Without the, the light, this, this, and you can go back in. I'll show you this. Just at the bottom, I'll leave the tops a little more defined. It'll look better. This one's looking pretty good. Okay? And it doesn't have to be level there. I mean, the hills could come right. I mean, the, you know how these are. Maybe this is level. Right? Okay. Now, I'm going to get some more white. more white on my palette. I want to get this thing done, but okay. Actually, there we got those, and now we're gonna use some of this green. Ooh, I don't want to, but we can use blue. Give me some of this color. Mix it up. There's some blue, some green in there. Not much though. Perfect. That looks pretty good. I need a dark color. And come in. I'm going to use the same brush, this fan brush. I'm just going to put that in there. Okay. And then we're going to go in and I'm going to come in yep, one more thing real quick. I'm going to kind of tap the bottom of this a little bit. Just doing it this way. Okay. I can get a little, a little white there too. Yeah, not too much. There we go. Just kind of lighten it up a little bit. There. Now I'm going to bring this in, and this is going to be a little darker, okay? And I'm going to put some trees in, because right here there's probably one. And I'm just going to come down. I want it to come to about right there. Okay. Now I'm not thinning this, so it might not work as well. But, there. That'll work, actually. And I want one here. And I'm just grabbing. See, this has got a little green in it. It might look kind of cool. I don't use a lot of green in my winter paintings, but one there. And this is from the... I am using a picture, actually. I wasn't going to, but I thought... As this went, it kind of started to look pretty easy. Put some trees right there, I think. I'm just trying to... A few there, and then there's one here that's bigger. And the 
there's one next to it. If you're ever at Marias Pass at the rest area and you look up towards this monument, this is the painting you'll see. Okay. There. Or close to it. There. Okay. I'll leave the rest. There. There's from where I could see. Okay, there. So we got that. Now, I might grab a little bit of paint thinner for this, because if I don't, then it might not look as good as I hope. Just a tip, a little bit though. And we can make some trees. I'm just start I haven't been doing as many pine trees with a fan brush. I think they're pretty, they're not hard to do, but, and I'm gonna, I've always, I've started to, or just kind of start down here and work your way down. That's what they are up there. See, that one's a little. Smash it in there. There. Go over here. Kind of running out of paint, but I'll just put pine trees in there. They don't need to look great. Okay, that one there, just smaller. Start at the bottom and just touch. These are not close, so it doesn't matter. You can just smash it in like this. Just tap straight in. See? You smaller ones, you just don't have the, like a bigger one. And the brush will do the work for you, right? Over here, this one's going to be a little bigger. Just kind of, you can kind of pull to the side. Yeah, so farther away, you can. I'm running out of paint here. Okay, this one here. The brush starts breaking apart. Keep in mind they're far away. I don't like that edge. Sometimes a certain edge of the brush will work better than the other one, so. Okay, just kind of make them. That one kind of falls apart, doesn't it? Little bit of stuff here in the front so it pushes that other stuff back farther so there that kind of looks up into the into the into glacier these are dark I'm gonna get some white okay a little white on them and maybe some blue some more blue I'm getting a lot of gray because of the black but that's okay it is kind of a gray looking I'm get a little white on there brush is loaded with maybe get a little blue in there throw a few highlights in and I'm gonna smash them in okay kind of hard there's one see easy a little wall and if this dries I can come back in and put some more but we kind of want these closer because this is kind of it's a little maybe the closer forward there see the little the forwardness you can see the different layers and that's what we want okay now get some more blue we're almost done I'm gonna get some more blue and I'm gonna put it on uh, this brush here This one. Actually, I do have a lot of blue on there, don't I? A little gray, just kind of come down here. This is just a, I don't know, grab a little gray in there and there. Just get right in there. Hey, I'm not going to make the parking lot. It's just, well, it was full of snow, you couldn't see anything. There, see? Get some blue in there for the shadows. I want a little more color as we get closer, so that blue looks good, doesn't it? There we go. I'm going to need another blast of white. So I'll get that out. Okay, and then I'm going to grab a, another fan brush. Get messy over here. I have 
to, I can't lie to you, I'm having a cold one tonight. A little beer. Okay. Old, old one, but here we go. Grab some white. Make this easy. Lots of white. Watch this. It'll blend in there. I'm just gonna. There we go. Make it nice and white. You get a little mix. The blue. I want it right up against there. Maybe get some. Okay. Don't kill all the blue. Those are your shadows. Thought it needed a little more. This brush is very old. These are drifts, you know, in the snow. The fan brushes are pretty amazing. There, see that? There's your snow, there's your foreground. Looking up there, okay? And what I want to do, I'm gonna clean this brush off and I just want to kind of go through it and just kind of go like this, soften it. Get up in there a little bit. There. And just a nice little, almost monotone gray, grayish. You know, you add that little blue in the bottom and uh, it looks good. You could put some car tracks in there if you wanted, maybe. <laughs> you want my deal. Maybe we'll do this. up a little. Probably could have done it without any paint. See this one? Just watch this. Push him up a little. There. That one there, if we don't like that, that little blotch, you just grab it. Rub it down a little bit, it'll go away. There you go. Now, one more thing we need. We need some gray, which we have. Good. And then, kind of a darker, a little darker. There it is. Okay, I'm going to put a little red in there. There's what I want. Okay, now I'm going to come in and make our, there's some tables there. We're going to come in and go right about here. We're going to make our, there was a, okay, I might need to switch sides here. There was a little, this thing. Okay. Pull that flat. A little paint on the brush. I'm just doing that. And it goes up. Start. It takes a steady hand, doesn't it? I'm pull that down. And there's a little. Oh, it needs more dark in there. There we go. There's a little. up and at the top it's got a little point on it. Kind of hard to do with the we can come in and I'm just trying to not get it too big because it's pretty skinny. It's some sort of a monument. Honestly I've, I think I've stopped and read it but I can't remember exactly what it said. Okay it's got a little spot on there. And it sticks up in the air. Straighter than that, actually. <laughs> I'm trying to... There. And then we can come in and watch this. Start getting some white. Maybe come over here. And, oh, there's a hair. Right here and do this. Touch. 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 That side. Come over here. Pretty, pretty reasonable. I think I can get away with that. Touch, pull. Okay, a little more white. Let that stick out a little more. You could do 
use a you could use a liner brush too. There, there's the monument. I don't want it to be you know too perfect. There, and I'll make the point like that. Okay, so there's the monument there. Can you see that? Good. There. Okay. And then we can kind of come over and do a little pull it a little. It's almost triangular got some edges and stuff on it but I think that looks pretty good maybe take some dark darker black some black there. come over here and where's the light coming from we really didn't establish any light did we so we'll just go on the edge and maybe tap that in and give it so you can see the edge there I need to go cook some burgers here in a minute so That looks pretty good. It almost looks like a tree stump, but uh, you know, and it's crooked. The, the the one in the picture is straight, but maybe when I took the picture, I was a little crooked. Okay, good. And then we can come back in and try to get some, some white. Okay. Some more white on there. bottom you want it to be lighter because it's darker down there so it'll help out there I think that is just fun well, that's what it looked like that day dun, 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 dun. so um, pretty simple painting you know you've got your mountains in the back you've got that there you've got a tree on the left you got some distant stuff kind of what I was going by there you know you got a nice gray picture and then mountains in the back. It's harder to see. You got your trees in the front. And I think it uh, turned out pretty good. So, without any further ado, I think it's time to finish this one up. I am going to come in and come in here, watch this. And just darken that up a little bit. And I think we're done. So we'll sign this one. Fire away, and I need some red. Maybe I'll get a little crimson. Let's do magenta on this one. I have some magenta over here. Liner brush. Magenta's pretty bright, kind of pinkish. But I think it'll be all right. I got a little tiny brush here. Mix that up. Get some magenta. A little stand out. Yeah, I think it's probably about 10 degrees. 10 below up here right now. There you go. If you want to sign them and you want to use your, scrape your initials in first and then just go over it. See how easy that is? I just put some paint thinner in here. There. Pretty easy. Okay. Got a little longer than I wanted, but I guess what you can do. You can come in and make this one a little longer. L. Bigger. There. They don't have to be exact. Ooh. Oops. Who cares? So, there you go. Remember on this one what we did. And you've got your distant, you know, distant, lighter, lighter, darker, 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 and your snow is whatever. You know, and you got your, your nice little whatever it is that I think it's uh, the guy that I can't remember his name. We were talking about the other night that, uh, Oh, this is the best part. It doesn't fall off. This I came downstairs from had to go uptown for a while, and this was laying on the floor. Go easy. So nothing happened really. I think that there was a cat hair on it. There's one. Clean off your this because if it's dirty. I tell you what, get it on the white. If you do that, it's it's harder to. There we go. Kind of peel that off. Let me try this. Okay. There we go. And you can always come back in and paint it too. 
Don't worry about that. But see that nice edge? You got to use this good. It's underneath there. So watch this. There. <laughs> it's much easier when it's not. See, go slow. But see that edge? This blue paint works so nice. And for ooh, and you will if you're starting out, or if you're not starting out and you're still painting like this, you will come in when it'll fall and land right on there like that. Ooh, go slow. That's a pretty tight edge, so that's some good tape. Didn't really bleed through, but I think it's nice at the end. When you do a border like that, look how nice the painting looks. You know, a you know painting that takes less than an hour. And You'd be surprised. Let's get this off of there. You know, these ones are the ones, for me, a lot of times, people like them. And they, they buy them. If you want to make some money, you can painting. Just practice. You don't have to be, you don't have to sell your paintings for $10,000. You can sell them for a lot less. And, you know, as for a while, they, they start to pat, uh, stock up, so. You gotta do something with them. They don't make good firewood. Okay. There. So, I hope you like this one. I'm kind of walking around, but I wanted to give you a... See, that one turned out really good. And then, like here, I don't know if this camera can see the hair or not, but there's a hair right there. I got it. Don't use your finger. You'll mess the whole thing up. You can use a pair of tweezers or anything else. And there's uh, Mariah's Pass. So, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Bye.